Canvas provides parents with the ability to create their own accounts and then pair with their students so they can observe their work. They can see which courses they're in and see what assignments they're uh, doing and when they're due, as well as communicate with their teachers all within Canvas. And you can do this both on any web browser, but they also provide an app uh, in both Android and iOS. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can connect with your student account by getting a pairing code and then I'll walk you through how to do it on the iOS app. Okay, so uh, let's start with getting the iOS app itself and the same process is uh, true for Android but I'll just do it for the iPhone. So first off you're going to want to get into your uh, App Store. Okay. When you get to the App Store, go ahead and click search and we're going to search for the word Canvas. Okay. Uh, once we get to Canvas, you're going to download the Canvas Parent app. Okay. So let's download that. And now it's already on our, on our device. And we're going to go ahead and click into it. Now, to, f to get into the student's account, we're actually going to have to connect to the specific school because there's many different schools that use Canvas. And so click Find School. And we're going to type Lebanon. Okay. Now you're going to see two different options here. Uh, one is for parents, guardians, and the other one's for students. We want to choose the one that says Lebanon Community Schools, Parents and Guardians. Okay. Now, if you have done this already and uh, on, say, your web browser and you already have an account, you would just go ahead and log in right here. But if you hadn't done that, then you're going to need to create an account. And you can do that from your web browser or you can do it right here from the app. And so we'll go ahead and create an account by clicking right here. It says click here if it's free. And now this is a little bit confusing because it's got two big buttons. I'm a teacher and I'm a student and we actually want the button or the, the link right underneath it that says parents sign up here. So let's go ahead and click there. Now you need to fill out this form. Okay. Um, in order to connect with a student though, we're going to need to put in our name, our email address, a password that you can remember, but then we're going to need this, uh, item right here, which is a pairing code. Okay. And so in order to get the pairing code, we need to go into the student account. Um, I'm just going to put in a fake one right now and then we'll move over and I'll show you how to get the pairing code. Okay. So once you've put in the pairing code, then you click start participating and you see that it takes you into the, the student or the parent app and you can see their courses as well as you can click in and you can see what assignments are due. If you click this button down here, it'll allow you to send a message. Okay. So I've put in a message there and then you can click and send the message. So now let's go ahead and go to, uh, the, the login screen and I'm just going to type it in here real quick and log in. Canvas. Now there'll be a link to this on the district website that you can just click. There'll be a link for students and there'll be a link for parents. Uh, but this is what the parent link will look like. Okay. Um, but to get to the, the, the uh, pairing code that you need, we're going to need to log into your student's account, not your account, but your student's account. Okay. And you're going to need this the very first time that you try to create your parent account. So you want to do this step first. Okay. So I'm just going to log into Stuart student's account. And you notice his course is here. What we want to do is we want to come up here to where it says account. Okay. So up here in the upper left corner, we're going to click and then we're going to go down to settings. Okay. Now to get the pairing code, we're going to come over here to the right part of the screen where it says pair with observer. Okay. Go ahead and click there and it gives us a code. Now this code will expire after seven days or after you use it one time. So let's say that uh, more than one person, uh, a mother and a father or a grandma and a grandpa, whomever uh, want to pair in their individual accounts with the student, well, then you're going to have to click that more than once to get a new code uh, each for each person. You create your account using this code. Okay. So let's go ahead and I'm going to log out of Stuart and I'll just give you a quick uh, run through of what the parent account would look like. So I'm going to log in here as Paula parent and log in. Okay. And so uh, just like when you were looking at the app, how it showed each of the courses, you can see that it lists each of the courses. Uh, this is important right here where it says notification preferences. If you click there, 
it'll allow you to choose what information you want to have uh, just inside the app or uh, or if you want it to be sent to your email or whatnot and you can go all the way down and you can also just say turn off all notifications if, if that's what you want and okay um, but let's go ahead and take a look at one of their classes we'll go into fourth grade science okay so notice right here underneath it actually tells you that you are observing Stuart the student or your student's name okay so we'll click in there and you see almost everything that the student sees. Now I say almost everything because um, you're not able to submit assignments. And so we'll go, just go to one of the assignments. Okay, so here's an example. Read how a plant breathes. Well, that's a page. Let's go to the next one. And so and this is just some dummy text, but uh, up here in the student account, there would be submit assignment. Uh, you don't have that because you can just uh, you can just view their work. Okay. But you can see when things are due. You can look at their grades. Okay. And notice that it would only pull up uh, the, the students' grades. Okay. And you'd be if you were uh, observing multiple students, then you'd be able to see all their courses. Now notice that this is a dummy account, so there are no there are no grades in here. But let me show you one more thing, and that's how you send a message. So over here on the left you can see inbox okay inbox is kind of the built-in email system uh, for canvas so i'm going to click in there and it looks just like an email uh, system and what it does is it actually connects to your email address and to the teacher's email address so that you can then send a message so let's let's say that we wanted to send a message we're going to hit compose a new message and we're going to select which course that we want to send it to. So uh, if it's the same teacher, if let's say it's a fourth grade teacher, it's going to have the same uh, teacher per course or per subject. Um, just choose whichever one you are writing about. So if you're writing about math or science or if it's a general, just choose any one. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but if it's for, say, a middle school or high school student, then you'd want to make sure you choose the, the appropriate course. So we'll just say science. And then right here in the two, we're going to click this address um, address icon and that's going to open up who we can who we can message okay so we're going to go ahead and click miss teacher we're going to put a subject in here need help with Stuart and we're going to say uh, miss teacher please help me with Stuart I can't get him to do his homework on time any tips are welcome Paul parent and then we'll click send okay and so uh, right here you can look uh, and this one hasn't received any emails or any messages but you're able to click and see which ones you have sent so this is uh, the, the message that, ha, that was sent. And then if you were to receive any messages, it would show up here too. Okay, so we've looked at how do you create a parent account? How do you link it to your student's account using the pairing code? We looked at the app. Make sure you download the app, uh, iOS or Android, so that you can do it right there and you can check how they're doing, as well as you can use it to message your, uh, your student's teachers right there for, from within Canvas. Cheers.